You know, sometimes I like to look back and think about the campers who have come to Camp Candy over the years. All of them are really special. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's one from a different episode. <laughs> But I gotta say, a camper named Cal really stands out in my mind. He came for a visit and ended up saving the camp. I'll never forget when he arrived at Camp Candy. I was demonstrating bird calls that night. To eat, to eat. Smell my feet, smell my feet. That's <laughs> <laughs> really cool. I forget it. His bird calls smell bad enough. <laughs> yeah, they smell. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Here's my best. The double-breasted fly swatter. Listen carefully and see the answers. Do all! Do all! Is it... what the... I don't think that's a bird. I think that's a... A goat! Let me try something. Over hill, over dale, we have hit the dusty trail. And the caisson go rolling along. <laughs> oh, that's one smart bird. <laughs> Off key. And where'er we go, you always know that those caissons go rolling along. Uh -huh. oh, think it goes. Ah! Hello. Hello yourself, honey. I couldn't believe my ears, and when I saw him coming down the road, I couldn't believe my eyes. Cal's the name, and Campin's my game. <laughs> Which I get a lot of those turkey legs. <laughs> Welcome to Camp Candy. I'm John, and these are my campers. Uh, hi. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hiya, kiddos. <laughs> So this place is still called Camp Candy, just like it was when I was here 90 years ago. I told you it was a ghost. 90 years? Then you were here when my great, uh, my great, great, was it the great, 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 it, when my ancestor ran the camp. Uh, yeah, Jonathan Candy. And for 90 years, I wanted to come back. Gee, Cal, you, you, you're welcome to stay here if you want. <laughs> well, the world's oldest camper. Yeah, it sounds like a real blast. <sighs> the kids weren't too crazy about our new, uh, old camper, but at least they were polite. Uh, you can have my bed if you want, sir. I like sleeping on the floor. Good for the back. But thanks anyway. Let me what? Sonny boy? That night, while everyone tried to sleep, Cal made quite an impression. He certainly made an impression on me. Oh, boy. I guess I dozed off about 4.30 and then... How does he nuts crazy altogether what? 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 What's the matter there, Junior? Is this holiday or something? No, but it, it, it's uh, it's only five o'clock in the morning. That late? In my days, we had breakfast at four thirty. But then we were tough. We had to milk the cows, gather the eggs, lift that barge, tote that bale, and all before 5 a.m. Now, how many times you like your flop jack split? Oh, this must be a nightmare. Breakfast was a little earlier than usual that day, but Cal didn't seem to notice. Okay, kids, it's, uh, it's time for some, uh, announcements.
Boy, those kids must have been tired. They always responded to the word announcement. I said announcements! Announcements, announcements, announcements! A terrible waste of time. A terrible waste of time. A terrible, 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 terrible waste of time. Announcements, announcements, announcements! Well, <laughs> I see someone told you about our announcement tradition. <laughs> Your announcement tradition? Sonny, who in Sam Hill do you think started that tradition? You? Sure, shooting I did. It used to irritate the by golly out old Jonathan Candy. <laughs> wow, I sure wish I had thought of something as obnoxious as the announcement song. Well, the kids were pretty impressed, and so was I. Yeah, the kids changed their opinion of Cal when they discovered he'd invented some other camp traditions. And that's how I short-sheeted the bed the very first time. Hey, wait, wait, wait that's my bed! <laughs> Cal also started the first food fight in camp history. Here goes, Rick! <laughs> Banana cream. Cal was also the first camper in history to roast a marshmallow. Perfect. Here, Johnny boy, you do the honors. Ooh, ha, ha, ooh, ooh, ha, ha, Once the kids got to know Cal, they thought he was about the coolest camper ever. I can't believe old Nellie's still here. Now back when I was a young whippersnapper, Nellie could run like the wind. Boy, Cal, I wish we could have seen the two of you then. Well, I could show you some pictures. Come on. There we are. Nellie and me. Wow. Hey, uh, do you have any pictures of my great, 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 uh, uh, my, the, the great, 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 uh, 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 great, you know what? Uh, you mean Jonathan? Here. Good looking dude. Hey, let me, let me see. see. Wow. Those were the good old days. All the stories I could tell. So tell. By George, I will. You know? Things weren't all that different back then. The clothes were a little different, of course. But it was the same old Camp Candy, and there was lots to do. Like the three R's, riding. And there was roping. Usually by a nice trip to town. It was a busy little town with a general store and the schoolhouse where Miss Molly taught. Oh, it was a peaceful place, I can tell you that. At least until they drove into town. Tax the forest and his sidekick, Bastard. They were troublemakers from the get go. My cut of the profits, Granny. One hundred percent. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. And give me an ice cream cone. Ah, to scoop. Oh, dag burn it. Miss Molly, I say school is out for good. Oh, yeah, ha, ha, ha. Well, who needs school anyway? Not me, ha, ha. Well, they were tough. Very tough. But there was one person who was tougher. Jonathan Candy. DeForest, I've had just about enough of your bullying. Enough? Is there an echo around here? Now, either you quit pushing around these nice folks who live here, or you and I... We're gonna have to fight it out. Fine with me. We'll fight.
find it out at high noon. Well, when, boss? Noon, dummy. Twelve o'clock. Can't you tell time? Well, no. Ha, ha, ha. I never went to school. High noon. Yep. The forest, you're on. DeForest challenged Jonathan Handy. He didn't know old Jonathan was a quick draw artist. Jonathan wasn't even nervous. But the rest of us were. <gasps> oh. Faster, wake up. Do you see what time it is? Oh, sure, boss. Uh, well, the big hand is on the 12, and the little hand is on the t uh, 12. Think of that, DeForest. Huh? It's a real piece of art marriage. I've never seen anything so nice. Now get back at you someday, Candy, and I'll get that camp away from you, too. Never did be Jonathan Candy, no siree. Jonathan celebrated by planting a little tree. Yes, sir. That's why I was plum delighted to see Camp Candy was still here. The tree, too. Cool <laughs> story. Yes, <laughs> very amusing. And I hope you'll be amused by this. What is it? Uh, I know, boss. It's a piece of paper. I just found this old deed. And guess what? You still own Camp Candy, but I own the road that leads to this miserable place. Oh, no. What the... Uh... <laughs> no one can come in or go out. Yeah, boss, uh, how do we get out? With my newest acquisition, you nitwit. Come on. Somebody should have told him to flap. <laughs> but if no one can get in or out, we'll starve. Oh, man, there won't be any more Camp Candy. Oh, don't worry, kids. We'll figure something out. I, I think something's not right about that story. 
I recollect a day when Jonathan won the deed to all this land, including the road, from Tex Tavares. You own the camp, Candy, but I own the road. Not for long, Bub. Just name your weapon. This. Not that. Anything but that. It was the ultimate challenge, all right. A game of scissors, paper, stone. One, two, three. Scissors, guts, paper, I win. Na, 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 na. Uh, yeah. Jonathan definitely won the real deed to the road. So Rex's deed must be a fake. No fun. Great. So where is it? Huh? Where's the deed to the road? Well, I reckon it's where Jonathan kept all his valuable belongings. In that tree he planted. You're sure this is the same tree? Higher! Oh, that's what I was afraid of. There it is! Just reach inside there! Ah! Oops, sorry. Ha! Find anything, Johnny? Yes! No. Cowabunga, Hank's fellow hotel. I, I got, I, I got, I got something. Uh, I got nothing but an old Captain Crack up Dakota ring. It must be in there. Dig deep, Johnny. I got it. I got it. I think I got it. Yes, indeed, I had the real deed to the road, and I was about to undo Rex's evil dude. Yeah, well, you get the, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> yes, sir. If anyone even thinks of crossing the road, they'll have to think again. Oh, gee, boss, oh, I wouldn't think. You never do, but Candy does. Look. Well, I guess you want to break the law. I do have the deed to this road, remember? That's what you think. But I've come to challenge that deed. All right, reach for the sky. Oh, no! Oh, yes. This is the real deed to the road. It's real. Oh, it's real. We'll see what's real and what's fake. One, two, three. Paper covers rock, I win. Yes, yes, yes. Now do you admit it's a fake now, huh? Come on, admit it. Oh, no. Okay, I admit it. Don't you wish you could do that? We celebrated that night, and the next day, Cal had to leave. He had places to go and people to see. He'd helped us save Cam Candy, and we all knew we'd never forget him. Cal gave us so much. 
He got our road back. He gave us our heritage, our traditions. And a few things I wish he hadn't. <laughs>